Then he returned to the 
man of God, he and all his company. He came and stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Please accept a present from your servant. God, I ask you in your name that you meet with us in a special way. Help us to pay attention to you. Help us to receive your grace and your good news through this account in your holy word. May we apply this word to our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. God, may you prepare us for the communion table. It's in your name. In your name we pray. Lord be with us. As I mentioned, we just did a Bible study I made in a short time ago. My prayer is that this message will share some of the fruits of this study and even some new learnings since then. You know, as we come today online or in person, we don't want to be healed of some sort, whether it's a body, mind, spirit, or relationship. We all need healing of some, of some sort. Point one. Sometimes we get in our own way. You ever like work on something, you're standing in your own light, and it's hard to see because you're standing in your own light. you got to move and get out of the way. Naaman was in his own way. He, I mean, in modern terms, he had, think of a presidential motorcade. He had limousines, police escorts, loads of money. The sirens were well. So he goes to the king. The king thinks he's being set up. Can I cure leprosy? How can I cure this skin disease? Oh my. What am I going to do? And he only said, here's the battle. Elisha's not in a palace. Imagine a neighborhood a little nicer than a trailer park. Okay? So General Naaman goes, sirens wailing, with the limousines, with the police escort. And goes to this place where all the homes look alike. And he stops. And Elisha doesn't even come out to greet him. He sends a servant. He says, go and wash in the, in the Jordan River. Which if you've ever been to Israel, the Jordan is nothing like the Delaware. It's much smaller. It's much dirtier. And Naaman is furious. And he'd imagine that, you know, with the lights, the sirens, the prophet would come out and just wave his hand over the spot. And he would be healed. So what do you imagine? And Elisha doesn't even come out and greet him. You know, and I mean, he's in this, in this trailer park with all his wealth and his millions. And, and you know, he's prepared to buy his heel. Go and wash the door. Thankfully, point two, Naaman doesn't stop God from healing Naaman. There's a tremendous amount of good news in this in this scripture, which brings us to point three. There's a lot of saving grace in this passage of scripture that's commanded to each of us this day. <clears throat> Number one, the courage and kindness of the servant girl. She had been captured. We don't even know her name. She had been captured. 
captured. She was a prisoner. And yet she witnesses. She's not in an ideal situation, but she witnesses and says, Have I ever told you about Jesus? She witnesses and says, There's a prophet who can make you well. And then the witness and kindness of Naaman's servants. Again, it's, it's little people who make God's goodness happen. They call him Father. They say, you came here with your millions of dollars, with your, with your presidential motorcade. You were willing to do anything. And he told you to do something simple. If he had asked you to do something hard, you would have done that. All he's saying to you is wash and be clean. About 30 years ago, I heard Billy Graham preach on this message. And if you hear one message today, this is a big victory. Wash and be clean was the message 3,000 years ago to Naaman. It's the message today. In the river Jordan, with soap and water, I commend it to you. It works very well. But even more than the River Jordan, even more than the soap and water, is the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are called to wash and be clean. You know, I journal, I have a journal, and I journal about, you know, Father G has the largest gang ministry. and just basically says, Kindness and tenderness is what changes the world. The kindness of the servant girl. The, the kindness of name and servants who just say, you know, hey, just this. They're, they're nice to their, to their boss and say, hey, give this another look. And so name it, wash it. And he's made clean. And he's cured of his skin disease. He's cured of his leprosy. Amen. And Elisha doesn't want to take a nipple from him. Elisha says, and Naaman, General Naaman, he's a Syrian. He becomes a convert and he worships God. Read the rest of the story. It's good reading. Amen. It's just a wonderful story of grace. Jesus, Luke 4, 37. There were also many lepers in Israel at the time of the prophet Elisha. And none of them was cleansed except Naaman the seer. Jesus notes this healing and he stresses the grace of God. And it makes his the first audience that Jesus has in Capernaum, it makes him very angry. Because God can heal anybody he wants to heal. And God can do it any way God wants. And as his people, we are called to bow before him. And as we come to the communion table today, to have a word from the Lord, wash and be clean. I journaled yesterday morning about uh, Father G said that in his gang ministry, that he's discovered that kindness and tenderness is, is what changes things. Even when you have something tough to say, you can say the kind word. And yesterday I had an encounter where I just said to God, God, I, I was not kind in this encounter. And I ask for your forgiveness. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. And the grace is there. Recall.
which forgives us our sins and gives us the opportunity to live new. How will you live new? How will I live new in Jesus? Because I am in Christ I'm altogether a new creation. The old is gone, the fresh and new. We thank you for all the lessons, the kindness of the servants, speaking truth to power. Lord, help us to be your people. Have your hand upon us, Lord. Help us to be your people. Help us to be yours. Help us to be different. Lead us and guide us. I'll start to teach you the way to go. I'll counsel you with my eye upon you. Lead us and guide us, Lord. And help us to follow. Hear your name.